Did you know that Nutanix Crossplay can help you automate routine tasks in your data center? From automatically adjusting a VM's resources to integrating with other tools, Nutanix Crossplay has over 30 actions that you can use within playbooks to automate your daily tasks. With the release of Prism Central 2021.12, we've added four new actions that you can use in your playbooks to make automating your operations even easier. Hi, I'm Laura Giordana, Technical Marketing Engineer at Nutanix, and today I'm gonna to show you how you can use these four new actions in your playbooks today. Let's take a look. Nutanix Crossplay enables low-code or no-code automation of routine tasks by defining a trigger and a set of actions that should be carried out when the trigger is fired. Playbooks can be found under the Operations menu of PRISM. Clicking on Action Gallery will show all of our available actions. The new actions are highlighted here. We have Lookup, Cluster, Host, and VM Details, and Send Alert to PagerDuty. Now let's take a look and see how we can use these actions. Let's say when a VM is created, we want to run a playbook that will extract the IP address to be able to do something, for instance, make a REST API call to add this to our configuration management tool, or send this information via email or both. Let's take a look at what this looks like with an existing playbook that was created in a previous version. This playbook uses the event trigger on the created VM event, so every time a VM is created, this playbook is run. First, we used the REST API action to query the PRISM API with the VM UUID to get the VM info, and then we used the string parser action to parse out the IP. And then in our subsequent actions, we used the parse string to make our API call and send our email. Now building this playbook required us to understand the response body of the first API call and construct the JSON path to find the information we wanted. Let's see how we can simplify this playbook. Let's clone the playbook and make some changes. We can now replace the first two actions and their inputs with just a single action with no inputs required. So I can delete the first two actions here and then just use the lookup VM details action. And then in our subsequent actions, all we have to do is get the VM IP info from the parameters. And so this really simplifies the creation of our playbooks. This can also be applied to hosts and clusters in a similar way with the lookup cluster and host details actions. Now let's test out our playbook by creating a new VM. Once our VM is created, our playbook should have triggered. If we jump back into playbooks, we can see that our simplified create VM playbook successfully ran the lookup VM details action, and we were able to retrieve the information we were looking for. Now let's create a playbook using the new PagerDuty action. For this action, we'll use a playbook that is triggered by an alert. I'm going to select the alerts matching criteria trigger to match on all alerts, so every alert is sent to PagerDuty, but you can of course filter this as required. And then we'll add our action. Integration with PagerDuty was possible before using a custom REST API call. However, now, similar to our lookup actions, this is now simplified and you just need to provide the routing or integration key. In PagerDuty, under your service integrations, you'll need to add the Events API version 2 integration and copy the integration key over to Prism and that's it. This action has the PagerDuty public URL built in, so all you need to provide is the integration key. Now let's generate an alert by increasing load on our VM to see this in action. So we'll run the stress command on our VM to generate load, and within a few minutes we'll see that the alert pops up in Prism and we can check the play to make sure that it was successful. And we can also verify this within PagerDuty and we can see that an incident was triggered via the API. So these are the four new playbook actions introduced in Prism Central 2021.12. We hope you find them useful in your playbooks for further automating your operations. To get hands-on with creating your own playbooks, check out our AI Ops and Automation Test Drive by heading over to Nutanix.com slash test drive and clicking on the AI Ops and Automation tab. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our other videos about automating your operations with Nutanix Crossplay. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button to be the first to know about new Tech Bytes content. See you in the next video.